everyone this is me again coming to you guys with our next um um trying to warn you guys again a heads up you know milk alert milk alert i told you guys already i told you about the virus alert i warn you guys to go one game on water alert you see now with the milk now you know what i'm saying last time couple months was the uh, last two months was the egg if you guys notice the pattern you know what i'm saying all these things it's to self sabotage in order to drive up the prices, all these things. So now you guys are gonna see milk prices gonna go up um, on the shelf more now. You understand what I'm saying? Now, all across the country. So you see the, the um in Texas, you see eighteen thousand dairy cows that was killed um on Monday, Sunday night into Monday morning or something like that. You know today is what um April um twelfth. You understand this video gonna drop the following week because I do my stuff, just came back from um um Easter break. So again, I've been trying to tell you guys, stock up, get a dry freezer, Google it, see what that dry freezer is about, because some of your foods you can dry freeze. Dry freeze food can stay up to, to, to like a year and a half, two years in some places, according to the brand and the dry freezer that you have. So you can dry freeze your food. You can cook your food, dry freeze it, put it up in your pantry, and it'll stay fresh, it'll stay good when time to cook it later down. So dry freezer, is good dry freeze your food is good for, for instance like let's say every home have a freezer and power go you'll be able to still have food because even self power go for days at least your food dry freeze it on your shelf you can you can um put it on the grill you can you can do different things so we have to be in survival mode a lot of us studying gucci and prada and i tell you guys you can't eat that those stuff when covid that came when the delta was was hitting you cannot eat Gucci and Prada. I'm trying to tell you guys, uh, you know, this is my last time. Again, you know, I mean, last year, warning you guys with certain things. I'm not coming and giving you guys no more heads up. It's getting dangerous out in these streets. Um, I love more people. You see with the water, what happened in Pennsylvania when um, it had a little contamination. People was going crazy. And you try to see it in Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Philly. No one, uh, people was running all the place to get water. People was panicking. I've been telling people straight up, you're in an apartment, make sure and have 10 cases of water minimum. You're in a home, make sure and have 20 cases of water minimum. We are going to get a virus at some point in time that we will cannot go outside for six months. I've been saying that for over two, three years now. And and we, uh, uh, my people that look like me, is going to end up at the sticky end of the stick. And we're trying to avoid that because I'm tired seeing us looking crazy in the streets. You know something it is be embarrassing to see that and i am coming here free giving you guys the actual information a lot of people i uh, told you guys when i get people free stuff they do not appreciate it I don't ask you guys for a dollar i do not beg you guys I don't ask you guys for anything no donations no nothing i just come here because i love i love this country i love my people whether from the continent whether african-american whether caribbean i love all you guys i come here i do it from the bottom of my heart to, to warn you guys more and i mean i love everyone but i will always love more people first i always look out for you guys no matter some of you guys might be traitors it's all good but um i can see you guys when they come in you know what i'm saying uh? yeah but i love all people you know what i'm saying uh? yeah so this great country as i said america is a, still a great country um you know it's just some of us as the people some of us um need to do better you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So as I said, the world is a great place. It's the people sometimes, some of the people in the world are not kind to each other. So if everyone, you can't beg and you can't force someone to be nice to you. Just life. You have some people, COVID was a, a blessing and it was a curse at the same time too. The curse part is the people that too lost their lives. It was a blessing in order for some people business-wise at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the negative side of, about COVID. But when COVID had came, it, it was to it was to bring people together, uh, and, and to me, it's like it did the opposite in some parts of the world because people seeing so many people dying instead of we all try to fight this virus and move as one, everybody turned it into some people turned it into a culture war. Who was wearing masks? Who wasn't wearing masks? And all this nonsense and all these different things because all everybody was dying. Everybody lost someone. A loved one or a friend or somebody close to them at some point in time in COVID. Nearly everybody lost, know someone that passed away that they loved dearly through COVID. So that was the curse, the negative side of COVID. 
But again, you see this right now with the cows and, and with the milk and the different things like that. The price is going to go up in milk and different things like that. So that's why I'm trying to warn you guys again, man. Be careful, stuck up. This is what I've been trying to warn you guys and tell you guys straight up. I tell you guys about the viruses. See, you're talking about the Marburg virus and different things like that. Warning people that if these virus get um, get out, you know what I'm saying? So we have to be careful. As I say, COVID ain't going away. COVID is still here. I tell you guys, we have to live with COVID. Some strains will be mild. Some strains is going to be a little strong um, later on in the future. It all depends on the weather and the time and different things like that. Some of these things are man-made. I'm not going to go into details. I'm just telling you guys, be careful. All right? I'm not going to tell you guys to take this, take that. You guys um, go to a doctor and um, ask a doctor and different things like that. Or your nature part or your herbalist or whoever it is you want to work in, who you believe in. Just be careful, guys. You understand what I'm saying? Um, some milk alert. You see with all these calls, prices are going to go up here now. Some of these things are, are sabotaged. You see that with the chemicals, with the train, the derailment, and all these different things. We, our, we are being destroyed from within. And, and everybody getting caught up with, with the politics and different th things like that. And we're not paying attention to a lot of things. So peace, love, and blessings, man. I hope this makes sense again. This is the last. I'm not coming and telling nobody nothing again. I told you guys about the water. I told you guys about the virus. Um, now I tell you about the milk alert now. Um, and I've been warning you and showing you guys the pattern. Um, with these things, and I mean, every month or, or, or every other month is something, some industry going to get sabotaged. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you see how many eggs, eggs going to the roof. Some states are six, twelve dollars a dozen, different things like that. You see that with the baby formula. Now, is the milk is listen, every month going to be something. All right, so peace, love, and blessings, man. Um, no request videos. Thank you for all the um, new, new, new subscribers and everyone, guys. Um, look out for the uh, monthly um, celebrity and world blog and different things. Look out for um, teaching messages coming again soon. Um, um, pay attention to that. Coming in hot when coming to teaching messages. Coming soon. Okay. Bye.